Hello, friends. Today we'll be talking about how to use your Yahoo account as efficiently as possible. There are so many videos out there telling you how to use Gmail and Google tools for your productivity. But don't forget that even if you have a Yahoo account or both Yahoo and Gmail, you can use Yahoo to the fullest extent. Many of us don't know several features of Yahoo.com, especially Yahoo Mail. And having an email ID in Yahoo, I see these features but don't use them. So I thought, let me share with you what I know so that both of us or all of us can use Yahoo more efficiently as possible. So I am here having a calendar. You'll be wondering, how did I get a cal calendar in Yahoo.com? Yahoo Mail, you might. How did I get a calendar in Yahoo? You might be thinking, right? It's very simple. Click this symbol here. It signifies calendar, and this page will open. Okay, that depends on the background, though the color and stuff. But this is the main layout of how your calendar will look like. As you can see, it's October 2015, and you can change the years, you can change the months here. So this is your calendar preview. And as you scroll, scroll down, you can just see the whole thing. You can see today is 8, so it will show today here. And one more thing that you have to see is these to-dos. And they are raised on priority. Urgent to-dos, important to-dos, and normal. Now what to place where, I'm going to tell you shortly. Before that, let's click this symbol. Now this is priority view. Not a new to-do using this thing and then it's priority view now if you want to look at list view how it looks like these are only list of tasks depending on what the due date you can see it like that and done view done view is mainly about what you have done but i like it to keep it in priority view if i want to, to know which one is urgent and which one is more important even though it's not urgent it's important for me to begin working for it from the starting so those things which i have to do really quick and they're really important i keep in an urgent bar and those things that are important i have to do it almost like daily and they are not very urgent one two days or even one week i can skip those tasks with that task, I keep an important also tasks that are on far due dates, but not too far that I ignore them. Now, on normal, you can have things like birthdays, this, that, and stuff. So, if you like this, you can use priority view. List view will give you the list of all your things so that you can see them properly. And due date view will be according to the due date. Few people like to work according to due date. So this is good, but the best one I feel is your priority view because that works according to the priority. And obviously the urgent ones are the ones that you need to do really quick and they're really important. So just as glancing these urgent tasks, you'll know everything. Now what if I want to schedule tasks for some part of the day? Okay, so I'll be showing you this uh, great detail. As simply as that, you just click for tomorrow I'm going to plan suppose and you can see the whole day here so you can plan your whole day if you have your Yahoo app or something downloaded in your smartphone or a smart device and you can use it for your whole day tracking few people like to use it for school purposes like your after school hours what you're gonna do here if you want to wake up one hour early today or tomorrow or something like that then you can also plan out that so after school activities or activities apart from school time i mean activities apart from the school time so you can include those here if you work and you can use your work strategies and what you do in your work time here if this will be very useful if you have a home office or have children who you make them study in homeschool so homeschool and home office people can use this this can be applicable for any calendar. It might be your written calendar too. It is applicable to any calendar. Now you'll be like, how is this compared with your Google Calendar? So I'm not saying Google Calendar is bad, but I'm not. I'm still saying this is a good one. In drag and drag here somewhere else. If you want to see the priorities, they won't be visible to you. So you can look today. 
this I'm showing you the first thing for Yahoo because there are several people who don't know that Yahoo has a calendar. So if you know this, your Yahoo would be used as efficiently as possible. Okay, I mean as efficiently as possible. So this is the day today, it's 9.45 or 9.34 or something. And you can also have weekly preview. So this is the same as Google Calendar. If you want me to show you, I'll just show you in a moment. Now month is what we saw before. Year is like the yearly calendar where you just want to look up for many important tasks at a glance. Like you're planning for the year as soon as the new year strikes up. So, or as you can just look at the list of the tasks that you have. Isn't it amazing? Really, friends? Yahoo calendar is no less than Gmail calendar. I feel so. And you can you have several other options here like public holiday sports and others. Till the time it loads the list part, I'm going to show you the till it loads the part of list. Till it loads the list part, let me show you the Google Calendar and compare its feature with Yahoo Calendar. Okay, friends, so we got to October 2015. There are no events in this time frame. Now, we are going to action and create a new calendar or create a new to do list. Or you can hide even hide to do's. You can add holiday, add a friend's calendar, and follow others' calendars. So, add a friend's calendar and all other calendars are similar to that features that are provided by Google. Now let's create a new calendar and how it feels like. The new calendar could be anything I can name as the academic calendar. Just like that, because I'm a student or I'm a student and even you are because knowledge is permanent. Okay, so this is it. Enable my public calendar. It is easiest and least private. Invite people by email, it's most possible. I want to invite people my email. I don't want to add anyone there, so I'm like, save. I created a new calendar just now. My calendar, you can go to my calendars and just create a new calendar. Okay, this is just a rough one, so like, say, okay, I'm like, academic calendar. Sorry for the error in spelling. Um, I'm gonna say save. And Alice and I, I didn't do the all priorities, so I didn't do all the takings and stuff. So it did come here. Now the color is there. So you can change the color and stuff. And you can work on with your academic calendar. I did two of them and they came. I did spelling mistakes in this place so that you can notice the difference between both the calendars. Now let's see about how to create a new to-do list. So new to-do list, I'll be having it as my um, no, videos, uh, not videos, like project ideas. Ideas or anything, okay? Like save. And that's it. So it will load pro slowly, that's the thing. You can add new events, okay? You can add new events and basis of the start date. It can be all day or any time. Repeat, even you can have it repeat. So this feature, I like in this because, you know, there are some tasks that keep on repeating for you daily. And using this feature, I feel like, you know, it's it's good. And I wanted to recommend you another thing. It's called to do list, and it's very good. And if I get time... Which I obviously will. I'll also show you about Todoist, which is a very great app to manage your timings and stuff. I was thinking of searching for a time management app. And this app can be loaded to anything. It can be with your G e email, it can be collaborated in your devices, any device, no matter what. And you can even use these repeaters and stuff. It's not too great without the paying, but it's good. If you want it to be free and notes and all the stuff here, I'm gonna cancel it as simple as that. So you can add urgent to do's 
Okay, let's see and change project ideas. Uh, let's see and change is that, and that's it. So this is it. Now, what about public holidays? You can have the public holidays. Now, this is good for the people who work for government firms or private firms. In government firms, you have the list of holidays, right? Because they are rigid. In private firms, too, you have list of holidays. But government firm holidays, they are like freely available to everyone, and it doesn't vary from place to place. So that's the good thing about government holidays. So you can just add those so that you get to know them as fast as possible. A few people, especially the government people, in some countries have to, you know, uh, they have to keep on transferring, and sometimes they live far from their dear ones, and they need to plan their holidays and stuff. For that, they can upload their public holidays in this, or their own devices, their calendars in every device. So you can upload that here or in your device, and then this calendar holiday list and the yearly view will help you plan your holidays better, efficiently and stuff. You can even have sports calendars. Okay, and then others. What do you have under others? You don't have any other calendars. So this is it for this overall thingy. Now let me compare it with your Gmail calendar. So here is the Gmail calendar opened up. So this is October, this is today's day. There are different calendars. Similarly, you have calendars at other calendars. You can add a friend's calendar, holidays, similarly like that. And you have a day view as similar as that, but the thing is it's big. Weekly view, you even have that. Monthly view, you even have that. Four days and agenda. Only thing that you don't have is the four days view, which doesn't matter for many people. Uh, display density should be comfortable or it should be cozy or it should be compact. These things don't matter too much. You can sync it with devices, lab. Let's see what's the lab. So, well, let's play with our latest ideas. Google Lab is like, you know, this is an extra feature in Google. And I don't know whether that's available for your Yahoo Mail calendar. Uh, hi, morning and night. General notification. Okay, automatically declining events, free or busy, so many things there. So maybe that might help you out, but many people, uh, this is not so crucial for you, but still, it's good. And you can see and notice that there is no, not much difference between this calendar and that one, except for few things like your lab part that I told you just now, and the way things look. Okay, so sometimes you don't like the model, right? This will not look good in green or something. For that, what you can do is change the background of your whole mail, okay? Uh, because that, you know, the color and stuff also impact your brain, right? So that's very important. The other thing we are going to talk to you now about is Notepad. How to use Yahoo Notepad for your complete utilization. I know it's a big video, but I wanted you to use all the features that Yahoo may provide so that you can use it as efficiently as possible instead of complaining that you don't know anything about it or it's a bad place. Okay, it's not bad, I feel. It's as good and on par with other things. Okay, so let it load for some time. Okay, so you yeah, have Notepad, you even have Yahoo Messenger, you know. Nowadays, people are not using Yahoo Messenger because they have got so many other apps and all. But before, I used to remember when we were young, not too young though. Um, our mother used to work and then she used Yahoo Messenger to communicate with her colleagues. She used to work from home. So, and the news feeds are like okay, and the contacts are very important, and obviously, you know, your email is as important as that. So you don't have any no notes in this notebook to add a note. Okay, new note. Now new notebook. And this I am really shocked. I didn't know about it at all. 
I just know there was a note section, but I didn't know it. you even could make a new notebook. Thank you so much, friend. Because of you, I am knowing new things too. So this is, you know, kind of like a one note or people don't you know too much about one note. But if I say Evernote or something, they're like, yeah, I know Evernote. I use Evernote. But one note is also good and I like it. Because I didn't have an Evernote account. I don't know about Evernote much. But I don't. Do know about OneNote because it was so, uh, I we have the Microsoft operating system, right? So I was like looking at all the features of Microsoft Office. And then I stumbled upon OneNote. Maybe I'll talk to you about that in some other video. Okay, so now let's go to the notebook section. I'm going to prepare again an academic notebook. Academic. I um, mean, I'm gonna label it as how to. Uh -huh. Time study tips. Like, whatever study tips pops into the mind, I can do that. And I can even cut paste from other websites, okay? Uh, or else, like you. Okay, now I'm gonna add. Now we can do this. Okay, I can like add something here. Yes. So this gets saved. I I know I did some useless stuff, but it was like. Just wanted to show you how it works rather than waste your time because I know I've already wasted a bit of time here and there, so I just didn't. Okay, so this is it. Yahoo Notepad allows you to quickly take notes, save them, and access them whenever you check your Yahoo Mail. So this may be regarding your study tips because you know there are so many websites that give you study tips, and I have some of them subscribed and they email me a lot. So maybe I can concise them, put them in here, and delete so many messages because I have lots and lots of messages because I didn't delete lots and lots of messages. And you know what? We have to keep on deleting our messages or else it's a really big problem for us. You know what? One time my inbox was overflowing like anything. I had thousand or more unread mails. You know, should like you'll be thinking, what? Because I didn't read all the mails, so I went to some websites, how to delete the mails and stuff. And the main tip they gave was unsubscribe to any of the channels. There may be YouTube channels or something. Uh, but that is for Gmail though. You won't get so much things for Yahoo. Uh, I mean, any website that you think is no longer useful to you. Or you think they are just junk mail or something. Just unsubscribe to that. If you think that it is useful, just keep it, okay? Because there's no use. I used to get, I used to subscribe for something and I stopped using that. And it keep on coming, coming, coming. I used to delete all these mails, anyways. So it's better to unsubscribe rather than deleting all your mails, okay? Okay, so this is the only note, uh, the point. So this is you only have one notebook okay you don't have several notebooks so that's the only thing that makes us different by never note and one note but, uh, in both these areas you have lot many notebooks option but that's enough for your email right this is not a note taking app for you it's an email okay you should consider that much at least now let's go to contacts i'll be talking to you about contacts okay so now we are like you have a lot of friends Lots and lots of people. Outlook.com. I don't have any contacts in Outlook. Google contact. Facebook. Deleted contact. Now we can even create new lists like friends. Sorry again for the error. Oh, why I keep on committing so many errors? Friends, family. Uh, if you have some email, I mean, like you work for something, you can even have your subscriber. You can even have your subscribers and stuff. 
subscribers some so many things or like your okay if you get lots of email or you have subscribed to some four channels then you can like four channels four tips something or the other like that so you can keep on adding and then using all your contacts or even by adding new contact, I'll show you how to do that just now. And then you can shift all your contacts to these lists. Even you can have your Facebook contact here, so that's a good thing. Outlook contact, Google contact, and all because that makes you better, you know. Because in Facebook, you have so many friends, and if you like combine all the contacts, you won't know, like, where did I meet them? Was it Google? Was it Outlook? Was it Facebook? You won't know. So, this is a very good tool for that. Now coming back to add contacts, you'll add the first name, middle name, surname, and these two. These are all, all not important. Whatever you want to do, you can do. And this feature here lets you add more than one email so that a single contact person will you should not repeat the same name and add different email IDs. You can do that with one. Mobile number, job title, employer, date of month, and everything. Maybe you have notes about it. Now, for instance, you have some Facebook contact person or a Google contact person or even Outlook. You can have like my boss. My boss 10 years ago, maybe. Something like that. You can have anything. Or my best teacher. Something like that. You can have notes about that person. Okay, in general. So this is how you add your new contacts. Now let's see Yahoo Messenger because I've not seen or used it from a lot of times. Okay. I'll change myself to available. I don't know how I went offline. Okay, you'll have a lot of friends. You can start conversing with them. And you can even call your colleagues. Okay, so now let's go to Yahoo Messenger. This is long time I used it. You can use it for conversing with your friends and family when you are using your email. Maybe when you were using your email, you suddenly got an idea. You can use Yahoo Messenger for that, provided that they also have it. Okay, now newsfeed, let's look at it. It's something or the other, and I'm like not too much into the news. And if you are a person who likes news, I like technology and science, so I'm gonna do that. Agriculture is one of the smart seeds, it seems. So, whatever, whatever it's that I like in science, so whatever that is. So, just you can read according to your things, okay? You can even read about sports, you can read about lifestyles, because there's so many lifestyle disorders. Right, so you can do that, and then again, you can go back to your email or compose an email to someone in your life. So, I'm gonna compose an email to all of you, and I know you people know that this is meant for you. Subject use Yahoo to the fullest. I think you know how and you can use it. Thank you for watching and we'll meet you soon in some other video where I'll tell you how to use the techie tools to your fullest so that you're productive and you don't want to waste your time here. Okay? So check out your inbox, delete all your ridiculous mails and subscribe from something that you're no longer following. And use all the different spheres of your Yahoo mail. And even if you have and even if you have a Gmail, you can use the whole features here. Your Google Maps, YouTube, Play, News, Calendar, Drive, Translate, Photos, all those things, and even the blogger, books, and for any other questions or queries, please put it down and the comments box below 
I'd be happy to answer your comments and I'll be really glad if you would suggest me what other videos should I do the next. And hopefully I helped you out with this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.